Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm gonna channel a message from my guide. Um, this is Wispy Pognagri, okay? He's one of my guides. And if you wish to read more about him and find out more about him, uh, you can do so. There is a book called uh, Laws of the Spirit World by Karshin Bhavnagri and you can read more about uh, Wispy as well as, you know, the Laws of the Spirit Realms, okay? So with that being said, uh, I felt called to channel him today and I'm going to do that. Um, and in all my readings, I always say, take the parts that resonate with you and let go of the rest, okay? So with that being said, just give me a moment to kind of tune into his energy and see what's coming through. He's showing me that you guys know what you have to do. You guys know what your truth is. Then why are you allowing distractions to block you from it? Why are you just allowing fears, distractions? What is this distraction? Just give me a moment. Let me tune into this. It's what others want from you. It's what society wants out of you. The roles that you are meant to play. So each one of us is receiving internal guidance with what we have to do or what we are called to do. But we allow these different voices to just, you know, steer us off our paths. Because we fear and we fear judgments of others and ourselves. He's saying many of you who are watching this video, you are wide awake. He's showing me the third eye popped open, okay? He's saying you wouldn't be drawn to any of this if this wasn't true. So even if you think, oh, but I'm not that spiritual or I'm not this or I'm not that, just let go of judgments again, coming back to judgments and just know that you are drawn to this particular video for a reason, right? And you are, even if you don't consider yourself spiritual, we all are spiritual, okay? We all are on this journey home. He's showing me that in order to evolve, in order to in evolve, you get a bit burnt. So don't get scared of being burnt. And when I tried to understand what he's trying to say, what he showed me is each step of evolution requires more out of you because you're not on the same level. It, it requires more, that means more tests, more challenges, more obstacles to face with. Now that doesn't mean that just because I'm facing all these obstacles, I should go back to square one, no. I should continue on my path and not beat myself up that, okay, I'm, I've come so far. Why am I going through all these obstacles? He's saying that as you evolve spiritually, obstacles will come. It's a part of life. It's a part of this earth school that you signed up for. He's showing me that, imagine it in this way. When you were in a lower grade, in school your homework was not as much as as you advanced to a higher grade there were more projects to do there were more assignments to submit right so 
He's saying this is exactly the same. The reason you are being tested so much is because you are evolving. You should not take it the other way that, oh, I'm spiritual and now I shouldn't go through all this because I'm spiritual and I should be in this happy bubble. He's saying, no, that's not how it works. As you are evolving spiritually, the tests, the tests which each one of us goes through are also more advanced okay he's saying don't take it personally don't take this personally because it's it's just a proof that you are growing and you are evolving as a soul he's saying many of you have a path but you are confused you are confused on this path and you keep asking yourself and you keep checking with yourself if you're on the right path and he's saying that again is the right thing to check to keep checking does this feel right does this feel truth He's showing me there are many habits or ways of living and doing things that you can eradicate and purify your life even further more. And kind of it feels like he's giving this message to me, but I'm also sharing with you guys. He's saying things that take you off your center things that take you off your groundedness of who you are in essence, you need to check those, okay? You need to check those. Do I need to keep this? Do I need to continue? Or can I create a better path for myself? For many of you, this is a new guide. Maybe you're tuning into my channel for the first time and you are wondering who is she channeling? Just know that Wispy Bhavnagri is a guide and he is available to many. Just because he's my guide, I don't own him. He doesn't own me, it doesn't work like that. The spirit world can connect with many, many and the more advanced they are, the more they can connect and work with many at one time, okay? So this is something which I feel I need to share with my viewers, okay? This information. So if you wish to work with him, if you wish to learn more about him, like I said, uh, there is a book called Laws of the Spirit World, and I will write that down in my description of this video, just in case you are interested in the book, okay? He's saying there is no separation between any human beings and he wants you all to see the interconnectedness in each one of us, no matter what our religions are, no matter what our culture is, no matter what your background is, no matter where you came from, doesn't matter. He's saying we're, we're all connected in this web of life. But he's showing me some souls choose to advance and some souls do not. And he's also telling me and some souls also want to hinder those who are advancing. So there are these categories. And in the spirit world, they recognize all. Like they see the light in all, but they also see this frequency because he's showing me that this is the frequency that separates it all he's taking me um he's showing me like from a higher perspective it's almost like you know when we're flying in a plane right if you look outside the plane window 
we see all these little lighted homes and lighted streets right as the as if the plane takes off and is flying higher and higher we we can till we can visually see we can see that so he's showing me that from a visual standpoint it's like those who are spiritually advanced are lighted up it's like your light radiates far and wide and it, he's showing me it reaches the ethers it reaches the astral realms he's saying it's so bright and you are noticeable and he's saying you're not doing a favor to anyone by doing this you're just doing a favor to your own soul so he wants you to understand this the earth needs more and more people to awaken and more and more are awakening and when you stand in your truth and when you work on your light it's like uh, you know how he's showing me it's like when you light one candle and you take that candle and you light all other candles with that flame it's like that so your light touches others even those who are closed off even those who dismiss and he's saying those who dismiss and those who are closed off need this need this more than anyone else they're they're the ones actually needing this light so he's saying don't push them away and don't dismiss them but yes use your discernment you shouldn't allow anyone to burn off your candle okay it's simple like i'm just giving an analogy here you shouldn't allow anyone to come and burn your blow your candle away yes light as many candles as you want to light along your journey but that is where the discernment comes because some souls want to blow off your light because you're shining too bright and it annoys them and that's that's not how it works it's like yes be be a light in a dark room and light as many candles as you can bring light to this world allow the freak because he's he's telling me everything impacts everything else your light impacts your family and your friends and the and the circles that surround you and the people that you come in contact with and he's saying don't think of it as oh they're spiritual or they're not it doesn't matter he's saying it doesn't matter don't judge on that basis that oh they are like he's saying you don't know <laughs> You don't know, right? He's showing me many of you who are watching this right now are ready. And some of you are even on that brink where you're wondering okay what is that i need to do next i don't know i'm confused he's saying what's the next thing that you can do how can you bring more goodness in this world what's the next what's that one thing that you can do to bring more light in this world no matter what no matter how small it is what's what's that one thing maybe it is feeding that poor person down the street maybe it is helping someone maybe it is helping your neighbor or just one kind deed it could be anything right but your light is like a candle and it sparks their fire it sparks it, it increases their light okay and he's saying that in the same way dark energies blow out that light so he's saying just like light workers are working continuously in bringing more light they i mean the spiritual team on the other side is also doing the same okay he says this is important that they understand that just like you're working they're saying earth warriors earth warriors and then this your spirit team 
they're saying you don't have to worry about anything like everything is aligned it's like you know when we play um you know i'm, I'm seeing this uh, visual of you know the game of join the dots or join the numbers and then as you join a figure is created that's how i'm being shown it's like when you join dot one to two and three and four and so on so forth by the time you finished it you got a drawing there you got a figure there right so this is the same thing where he's saying you start with point one two three and you they keep showing you your next path but if you start worrying when you're on point one you're thinking i don't know what what the end result will be because that paralyzes you that stops you from moving forward on your path so just trust and they're saying everything else that you need to know and sometimes he's saying what you are thinking in your vision is not even a match to what is come because he's saying you are constantly evolving you're constantly changing and so are your desires and so are your wishes and so so is everything that you want to manifest it's going to shift according to your energy and frequency from each moment to moment He's saying many of you are carrying other people's energy. Just surrender these energies with love. Not with anger, not with hate, not with distrust or judgment. Just surrender with love and it's going to shift like this. It's going to move through your body. It's going to be out of your body. I'm asking him if there's any closing messages that he wishes to bring forward. He's saying that whenever your guides give you a message, you're supposed to follow through with it. If you don't follow through and if you start analyzing, then you stop yourself. Okay, then you stop yourself from moving forward on that path and your guides are waiting till you will take the action to move forward. So they, they can't do much. And sometimes he's saying, you guys are sending this message to your guides. Why isn't my life changing? Why isn't this changing? I'm trying to manifest. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying, but why? He say, why? Because you aren't doing anything in the physical to make this happen. Your guides are on board with you. Everyone else is on board with you. But he's saying, this is, you are actually the missing link. Because when they give you this inner guidance, which is your intuition telling you what the next step is, you're supposed to take that next step. But if you delay that, they can't change that for you. They're just waiting till you will take the steps. And he's saying sometimes they just don't take the step and we have to also start all over again, all over again. Just trust that you are supported. Just trust that you are loved. Come out of this thinking of limitations and cultural or religious differences and realize that at the end of the day we are all one one spirit one soul connected not separate rise above the illusions and see the truth in everything He also wants to add that if you want to be a divine channel, if in your mind that thought comes, I want to channel. And when I say channel, it doesn't have to always mean psychic readings. Because immediately when I say channel, people think, oh, she's talking about psychic reading or she's talking about healing. You can be an artist and be an amazing channel. 
You can be the best cook in the world and you could be channeling all those recipes, right? So their channel is not limited to just one, uh, you know, one form as in readings or psychic or mediumship. It's not limited to that. He's saying that if you have the desire to work with a spirit guide, then know that you are already aligned with a spirit guide. Don't go around chasing that guy because the reason you are feeling that pull and that call is because you are already aligned. Just take the next step with trust and follow through. He says following through expands your heart, expands your energy, whereas not following your inner guidance contracts that energy, restricts that energy. It's like putting yourself in a box and tying yourself up in chains. That's how he's showing me um, as an analogy. Take out time to pray, take out time to meditate, take out time to center yourself, take out time to send gratitude to the universe. Don't forget to send gratitude to your guides, okay? And with that, I'm gonna close this channeling. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. Much love, light, and blessings to you all. Thank you.